I like boring. Put it back. Oh, I spent all my pocket money on paying to surprise you. Uh, the surprise bit worked. <gasps> it was a nice thought. And I was getting out of your hair so you could do your boring old article. Look, I'm sorry, but if I don't get it finished today, I'm history. Hey, why don't you go out with a friend for an hour or two? I haven't got any. Of course you have. But there's all the kids at the dumping ground for a start. They're not my friends. They haven't bothered to come and see me since I moved in with you. You could pop round and see them. Their new place. No way. I spent half my life trying to escape from dumping grounds, in case you hadn't noticed. Tracy, you did invite the kids round to visit you when you left, didn't you? Oh, of course I did. Bye! Bye, Tracy! Bye, we'll see you soon, Tracy. Give us a call. Bye. Bye. Do come and see us, but don't expect to find us in. Losers! I did invite them. Sort of. Look, I shouldn't be too much longer. Try and find something useful to do. Well, monsters, welcome to paradise. Oh, wow, it's Did you tell Tracy we were moving? Yep, she got to set the new address and phone number like everyone else. They might have lost it. She might go to the old dumping ground looking for us. That chance? What's that supposed to mean? Well, she obviously doesn't want to mix with us anymore. She would have come back to see us by now. Tracy, it's not like that. Everybody's like that with care, kids. Oh, you're going to break my heart in a minute. Come on, let's go upstairs and get our bedrooms. Oh, Tell you what, know. Crash, I'll let you up unpacking for an hour if you want to go around and see Tracy. She's only around the corner. Crash, I'm not going to see you. This is, um... Roxy. Chantal. Real. Well, Art. It's going to get unpacked. Quietly. Just wait here a moment for me, please. A quick word in my office. Duke, staff meeting. This place is going to be another pushover. Just like the last four. No challenge. We'll have them for breakfast. <laughs> What we needed was a new care worker. Not more kids. Especially those kids. You don't even know them. I saw them in action once when I was visiting another care home. <gasps> that was enough. They've got a few behavioural problems. <laughs> On me without warning, I've got nowhere else to take the poor little mites. Africa. No, Australia's further away, and they're used to wrestling crocodiles there. Okay, that's enough. What's done is done. We can't refuse them care. How is that? Duke, you're overreacting. They're just children. 
Children who need our patience and our guidance, which, remember, is what we're here to give. Yes! <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Careful. Right, you three. <laughs> patience, guidance, remember? Why don't you pop upstairs and see which rooms are left? Just give them a call. Such a wuss. Me? What about you? Ooh. All right, I'm a wuss too. Godzilla would be a wuss against the wet lads. I still get nightmares for the last time we were in care with them. Well, I'm not going to take it anymore, OK? We're going to stand up to them this time. We are. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're older than them, and bigger. You could fatten six well as with your little finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go down there and let them know who's in charge in this dumping ground. They don't stand a chance. Yeah. What are you doing? This is a well arts room. Ha <laughs> ha, well arts room. Of course it is. Silly ass. Sorry, Rio, we're just uh, tidying up for you, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Pass me an egg, Marco. Pass us an egg, Chantel. <gasps> Oops. Right. Hey! 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 Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Get out of the way! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! She's beautiful. She's my favourite. I had to leave my doggies behind. Oh. You can play with this one. Oh, thanks. Dolly, are you thirsty? Would you like a drink? <gasps> Dolly's all dirty. Let's wash it. <gasps> Yes, thank you, Rio. Oh, you be careful with that crush. Crash. That's my computer. Oh, dear. No wonder they call him Crash.
No one hates our sister. You dead meat. Crash? What are you doing? What's the matter with you? We need to stick together. Show them what we're made of. Take control. Let's get Tracy. She'll know what to do. Yeah! yeah. If she can't be bothered to visit us, she's not going to come and save us now, is she? But she only lives around the corner now. In that nice, big, safe, roomy flat. Let's go! Yeah. 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 Come back! Yeah. Chickens! Where do you think you're going now? Sid, you would like to apologise for our behaviour earlier. It was very... immature. Oh. May we go out in the garden and have a big think about how we can do better in the future? Yes, um, I should be okay. Why am I even more scared now? I'm 124. Seven hundred and twenty-five. Seven. <coughs> seven. Uh, no friends, huh? Hi, Tracy. Listen, there's these three new kids that's on the bus. We got a family in the world. So that's really mean. It's so nasty. Crash isn't coming. He thinks he doesn't like him anymore. I wasn't looking for Crash. I just thought I had the, the, the postman. Yeah. Uh, Tracy, can we stay? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm very busy. Oh, Tracy, seriously, oh, we can't go home. The going ground's been taken over by aliens. Yeah, yeah please, please, Tracy. Yeah, Come honestly, on. there's no escaping from you, Lloyd, is there? No, no way. way. delivered in time, if it wasn't so expensive. Well, that's 42-inch plasma TVs for you. I just wanted to get him something special, something that none of the other kids would have brought him. to spend? Three pounds and twenty-six pence. Leave it with me. OK. What are you doing? Go away. Touchy. Lol. I've got the new Lincoln Park CD. Want to come to my room for a listen? You are? You're the only other person in this dump who likes them. I suppose you're just more sophisticated. Been a Lois. It's been said. <laughs> so, what's going on? Well, Bouncer's in there with Sid. That's the third time this week. He says it's about his birthday, but he's lying. How do you know? 
Because when he lies, he does this weird kind of flapping thing with his arms. It's like... Yeah, thanks, it. I think you're over. Are you listening? No. Why, you've got something to hide? No. Well, what are you talking about, then? Just... Uh, my birthday and stuff. Well, what sort of stuff? Stuff? I'd have to explain myself to you. <sighs> OK, what's happening? Lars really mad at Bouncer. Great, this could be our chance. To do what? Take over this place. We split them up and get the big guy on our side. We'd be untouchable. Oh, well, we're lacking this bit of metal. So what are these? <laughs> Sparrow's kneecaps compared to Bouncer. You're not sitting with Lal, then. Mind your own. I understand. You've got a right to your privacy. You're dead right. I wish other people would get that into their heads. What was that? You heard. So, you're not made up the bouncer yet? No. Not until he tells me what's going on with Sid, anyway. I know exactly how you feel. Roxy never tells me anything. It's not how brothers and sisters should treat each other, is it? No, it's not. If you've got something to say, say it. Don't let him get to you. Keep out of it, you. Don't take it out on her. Or what? Oi, 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 oi! That's enough! What's going on? Don't ask me. Ask my baby brother. No. He'll get over it. trouble with ordering over the phone. Do you think anyone will notice? Either those balloons aren't right or Bouncer's older than he looks. Don't worry, that's what I could do. Well, I could do with a hand putting up this bunting. Where's Roxy and Chantal and Crash? <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. Wide load coming through. which is designed to chase and destroy all small girls. Rubbish. You want to see a demonstration? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. We're not scared. Then step back, ladies. Professor Crash, release the monster. Destroy all girls! Destroy all girls! <laughs> should keep them out of the way. Affirmative, Professor Crash. something you want to say to your brother-in-law? No. Ah, oh, pardon me. <laughs> Not got a card for your brother, then. Must have slipped my mind, Shant. That's really mean. 
It's all right, Roxy. Happy birthday! OK, is this a birthday or a funeral? OK, I can see we're going to need some beaker magic in here. OK, well, my presence in the games room. Be prepared to be seriously amazed. After you, Roxy. After you, Chantelle. Birthday bouncer. Right then, who wants to play? Me! Me! me. me. You and me, champ! Or does the birthday boy need to ask Sid if that's okay first? No way. Game on, bro. As well as a liar, is it, Bounce? Oh, come on, come on, hey. come, on, come, on, come on! Come on! Come on, you boys are really gonna have to sort this out. Nice work, Beaker. Proper home wrecker, aren't you? No, it's all right. Thanks, Hayley. Only be a minute. I made cakes and lemonade. Thanks. For me for my birthday. Mm -hmm. God, thanks. Let's get in here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Tracy, yeah. let us out. Not until you two sort things out. I'll kill you, Tracy. Not from in there, you ain't. This isn't funny. Shout all you like. It won't help. Oh. Tracy, Tracy, open the door. Tracy, that's out. Tracy. You're well out of order calling me a cheat earlier. It was a perfectly good goal. Like I was talking about the football, you donkey. Are you still sore about my chats with Sid? No, I don't know what you're doing with your hair bounce. I've told you, we were just talking about my birthday. Stop lying to me! All right. You want to know what it's about? I might be leaving. You happy now? It's bouncing there. Might be. I think you've done enough stirring. Tracy, I don't know what you mean. I just want to be there for Bouncer. Really? He's the first person in this place who's been nice to me. Truth is, I don't make friends as easily as you. Are you jealous of me? Of course. You're the popular, attractive one. Lovely hair. Oh, I'm really quite touched. Just a second. What? Just looking for flying pigs. You think you're so smart, don't you, Beaker? Smarter than you, yes. When you're gonna get us with that thick adios, you're nothing round here anymore. I'm queen now. Cup of tea, Queenie. <gasps> now I'm 16. Sis says I have to start thinking about moving to a halfway house. What did you just say? 
Because I was scared. Of what? Of hurting you. We've always been together. I don't know if you can hack it about me. Or if I can hack it about you. So you're gonna go? I don't know. I mean, I gotta grow up sometime, haven't I? I'm 16, I'm sitting in a Wendy house. You should have said something. Look, whatever you decide to do, I'll be right behind you. Thanks, bruv. And you know I only let you win in football because it was your birthday. So you think you could take me on, then? With one arm and blindfolded. Rematch! <laughs> Bouncer! 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 What is it? What is it? Got? Do you know? Got your present? Ta-da! Hey. That's cool. Go on. Yeah. Nice one. A rocket? What happened to the killer robot? Yeah. It's been destroyed! <laughs> Thanks, Crash. It's great. Well, I thought you want your birthday to go with a bang. Can I live it off? Uh, nah. <laughs> This is your day. Thank you. Ready? Go!